Welcome to Cmotion's Visual 3D video tutorials. This tutorial is to get you acquainted with the workspace and introduce you to some of the many features available within Visual 3D. Most of the information here can also be found on our wiki page. Once Visual 3D is opened, you should be able to see the different workspace mode tabs, the workspace, signals, events, modes, and reports. Depending on your version of Visual 3D, you may have more or less modes, but we'll focus on these for now. Although Visual 3D can read different file formats, your data should be loaded in the C3D format. The CMO file contains the unchanged C3D files you loaded into your workspace, as well as your process data. I'm going to load a previously created CMO file. As you can see, our C3D files appear here in the workspace. This is our loaded static calibration file, and here are our associated motion files. If we move to the Signals and Events tab, we can view one of our dynamic trials. Select the trial you wish to see as the active file, expand the 3D viewer, and now we can view our active dynamic trial. As we scroll through the video, we can see our target data moving through the screen. We can also turn on our skeleton, but we will only see the bones if a model template has been loaded. Note that Visual 3D does not modify your original C3D data, which allows your results to be reproduced at any time. Your raw target data can be seen in the data tree. User-defined data, such as joint angles, will appear under other headings in the data tree. We can edit and construct new models in the Models tab. By selecting a segment, we can edit the segment definition and tracking markers for the motion files. In the Segment Properties tab, we can define the segment geometry and other segment properties. If you click on the Reports tab, you will see the workspace where you will be able to define and construct printed reports, which we'll get to more in the Report Builder tutorial. Now let's learn a little more about what we can do in our Model tab. Since Visual 3D is an analysis tool, not a data collection tool, you will need at least two input components. First, the static calibration file, which will be used to define a model, and second, the actual movement files. In the Models tab, we can input a static calibration file by selecting Create Static Calibration File. I'm not going to add a new static since I already have one open. We can also apply a previously created model template. Model templates are saved as .mdh files. The model template is an ASCII file that contains user-defined segment definitions and specific subject data. When using model templates for multiple subjects, make sure to change specific subject data such as height and weight. We can also create an automated workflow pipeline through the pipeline processor so the entire processing session can be automated. A script can be saved and reused as often as needed. The script can be edited through the workflow pipeline in Visual 3D or through a text editor, such as Notepad++. This short pipeline script will prompt us to build a new, create a new static standing file, apply a new model template, and set the subject's height and weight, which will be applied to the subject data and metrics. In the Reports tab, you are able to create and save report templates. Report templates can be saved and loaded into multiple reports. Note that to reuse these templates, it's necessary to use consistent naming conventions when processing your data. Report templates can be edited by selecting the desired graph or table from the left-hand corner. The graph can then be edited from this dialog box. Visual 3D's default segment coordinate system identifies Z as the axial axis. However, different labs have their own naming conventions for their coordinate systems. And the laboratory system or global coordinate system can be modified by going to Settings Modify Lab Coordinate System. The segment coordinate systems can be modified in your model by selecting a segment and going to the Segment Properties tab. By modifying the segment coordinate system from positive Z to negative Z in the distal to proximal segment, our axis has now been flipped. When looking at a dynamic trial, note that the segment coordinate systems move with respect to the segment, 
In the segment to the lab coordinate system, transformations are not fixed, but change moment to moment throughout the motion.